Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from the beautiful Carolinas. Today's topic is going to be why the narcissist won't let you go. Think about that for a minute. Everyone, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share. So, why the narcissist won't let you go. This is post-narcissistic relationship. Many times the narcissist will discard you or you will remove yourself from the relationship, but the narcissist won't wanna let you go. Now, let's say that you were discarded for the beginning of this example. If you were discarded, first of all, my heart goes out to you. That's one of the most challenging experiences to go through and you have a mountain of work in front of you. If, if you've healed or you're on the healing path right now, headed towards that pinnacle of indifference, please drop comments below. But if that happened to you, what happened there is the narcissist already had a new source of supply lined up or multiple sources of supply and they used up everything that you could provide for them, which probably was your finances, your health, your social circle status, money, a network of friends, what you offered, what you provided for them, that was burned up, it was used. It was meant to be taken from you by the narcissist and for you not to have it any longer when you entered the narcissistic relationship. Remember, all these things were yours, but the narcissist is a taker. And what they do is they wanna take, 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 and when they're done, they wanna take more. And that's what this video is about, why the narcissist won't let you go. It's because, picture when you were a child, it, let's say that as an example, it was a summer day, and you went outside and you found a insect, maybe it was a, you found a grasshopper, and you captured it, and you put it in a jar for maybe 20 minutes or something, you went home and showed it to your mom or whoever, oh, look, I found a grasshopper, this is beautiful, and then you let it go. Okay, well, now fast forward to the narcissistic relationship. You are the grasshopper. You are captured. The narcissist doesn't want to let you go. They don't want you to get free and then move forward with your life. That is why, for this video, what I'm sharing with you is when they know they have placed you in the trauma bond, when they know that they have you in a very dire circumstance or situation, post-relationship, specifically when you were discarded, they want to basically kick you when you're down. That's why many times they will hoover you and that, this video is not about the Hoover, but remember, for people who don't even know what a Hoover is, that's when the narcissist post-relationship is trying to draw you back into the relationship. They're trying to suck you back into the relationship, and you should not ever accept a Hoover. But that's for a different video. What I'm sharing here is the narcissist, why they don't want to let you go is because they have you captured, and they know that they can toy with you. Just like I was sharing with you a moment ago with that grasshopper analogy when you were a little kid. Well, you released the gra grasshopper. The narcissist many times, not always, but they don't want to release you. That's why they return after the discard at times. Maybe it takes a month, maybe it takes a year, maybe it takes a decade, but you will always cross the narcissist mind because the narcissist is comparing the source of supply that you provided for them and the lifestyle you provided for them and all the things you did for them when you were with them with the new supplies relationship. Keep this in mind also, the narcissist knows that each and every relationship they enter has an expiration date, just like that carton of milk that you purchased three weeks ago and you never opened it up, and now it's stale and it is not good, you have to throw it away. Well, that's what the narcissist does with individuals. They don't look at people as beautiful, bright, shining lights. They look at people as opportunities. And one of the reasons why they don't wanna let you go post-relationship is because they know they can manipulate you. They know they can play on your heartstrings. They know that they can play on your empathy and your love. That's why so frequently, well, let's, let's rewind that. That's why at times the narcissist will pop back up and say, hey, let's get back together. Let, let's, you know, let's try it again. I've healed or uh, I, I can't do without you or you're the yin to my yang or I saw a therapist and I now see the light or I found Jesus or I found God. Whatever they're going to say, at times they will come back using those angles. But then there are other times when they will come at you from a power of uh, authority and they will really try to kick you when you're down. Example here. Let's say the narcissist owes you money or they have your belongings or they have a car or something of yours, whatever it is, but it's worth uh, money, let's say, or if it is money or a house or something, they will weaponize that against you and they will keep you in that relationship with them, even though you were discarded, but you still need to communicate with them because they know they're now holding that piece of property or money, whatever it is, for ransom. I hope you follow that. That's why these people are toxic. That's why they're challenging. That is why they cannot escape the cycle. That is why when you have escaped the cycle, however you did it, you really need to go no contact, block these people, remove them and all flying monkeys and people associated with them and have boundaries in place. Understand this message. Now it's not one size fits all and nobody can tell you when you will heal and it will take time, a lot of time. It will take work, a mountain of work, but in time, in your time, you will heal. 
getting back to the thumbnail when it mentions to you why the narcissist won't let you go it's because they know where they placed you they placed you in the deep end of the toxicity pool where you are in the narcissistic fog even if you were discarded again my heart goes out to you I know exactly what that's like it is not a good feeling but when when you are discarded you have so many things to wrap your head around first of all you have to identify what kind of relationship that was was it a narcissistic relationship who knows but if you're on the channel most likely it was because otherwise you most likely would not be here getting the wisdom and getting the tools that I provide for you the other thing is you're gonna figure out that your support system is blown up and all of your resources are decimated so we already know those things but this is again when the narcissist will not want to let you go because they are literally playing with you they're toying with you with your emotions that's why they they many times will contact you and lead you on and say hey I'll call you tomorrow just I'll, I'll, let's we'll talk about things tomorrow and tomorrow will come and they won't do anything why because they know that they want you thinking about them waiting for that phone call pining for them and they know that you haven't broken the trauma bond you haven't gotten the wisdom yet you haven't applied the tools yet and they are the masters of manipulation bear in mind the narcissist knows exactly what they're doing and right now wherever they are on the planet they are manipulating other individuals individuals who know the game but have to stay in it maybe their own children individuals who are falling in love with the narcissists all over the planet and they're believing true love does exist and that this person is their soulmate and they're about to get a dose of reality like mo many of us have and then there are people that are recycled and that just keep going back to the narcissist or flying monkeys if you will and those are two different kinds of people but flying monkeys I'll, I'll just share this for a moment what they are they're cowards and bullies themselves they just they're popcorn TV movie watchers is what they are and they're watching your life implode but what they don't realize is they're only one step away from becoming the next target from the narcissist or these individuals the flying monkeys they are themselves toxic individuals and they just want to be around and watch the accidents unfold if you get my point so all these things I'm sharing with you why the narcissist won't let you go it's because you're too good of, a, of an individual and they really want to extinguish your beautiful bright light they don't want you healing play that again the narcissist does not want you healing the next thing the narcissist does not want you to discover that they are a narcissist the third thing is if the narcissist has any of your belongings they will weaponize those against you Ex example they will keep things from yours from from you uh, acquiring them let's say it's close so let's use the clothes as an example well if you left things at the house of the narcissist there is a high likelihood they will tell you yeah come pick them up you know next Saturday at two o'clock whatever it is and you go there and they're not around or they say oh I couldn't make it I forgot sorry these are all games of the narcissist this is exactly how they frustrate individuals this is exactly how they tease people this is exactly how they keep people on a string and you, uh, manipulate them like a puppet master it's when you get the wisdom and you understand let's use clothes as the example it's when you understand wait I have clothes at the house of the narcissist I got discarded uh, this is not a good thing but do I need those clothes are they really important to me um, you need to figure that out for yourself but there will be casualties of the narcissistic relationship left right and center and many times items and or clothes are just that finances are certainly casualties of the relationship relationships around you imploding or having wedges driven between you and these people are also casualties there are so many casualties of the relationship it's not just the relationship with one individual it's all the ramifications post relationship all the fallout if you will but why the narcissist won't let you go let's flip it for a minute let's say that you have things of the narcissist and what do you want to do with the, with those things well if you've healed and you get the message that I'm sharing with you on the channel first of all those things should be removed from your house whenever you can but maybe you got discarded recently and those things still have value to you they remind you of the narcissist and you're still in the trauma bond I get it you will eventually figure out that those items will have to go they'll have to go right in the bin or donate them but whatever you want to do but you do not need reminders of the narcissist your mind will remind you enough of the narcissist post relationship again that's for a whole separate video series why the narcissist won't let you go it's because they know what they've done to you they know how vulnerable you are they know how you're feeling about them they want to kick you when you are down they want to continue to watch you squirm they do not want you to ever succeed they don't want you to break the trauma bond they don't want you to heal they don't want you to become the superhuman being that you are becoming because you're getting the wisdom and rise through the ashes like a Phoenix and enter the third version of you the most galvanized version of you known to humankind they don't want that person on the planet what they want is a person who is stuck in the narcissistic fog just like you were when you were in the body of the relationship during the devaluation stage they want that person to stay stuck there they don't want that person to advance to heal to grow 
to do anything positive. And this is how the narcissist also gets supply from your misery, from your commisery, if you will. They, they, they want your negative emotions to be present. They want to know how much pain you're in. That is why, again, let's say you didn't get discarded. You ended the relationship, or they ended the relationship. Well, what did you probably do? I'll tell you what you probably did. You probably were calling them or texting them or writing them emails or talking to people just to get the narcissist to talk to you. Why? Because you needed closure and you needed answers. And that is something the narcissist will never provide for you. The narcissist could never provide that for you or anybody because they can't introspect and they are enjoying the fact that you, as an example, were writing them emails or texts or calling them. That gives them supply. Now, for people who can't wrap their head around what I'm talking about, really be understand one thing here. The narcissist does not think the way you think. There is no love within them. There's no empathy within them. They can't introspect. What they, what they can do is they can live for the moment. In, in other words, they want to do whatever the most uh, popular or important thing is for them in that moment. You live in the present moment, or at least that's my hope. The narcissist lives for the moment. That's why so frequently when you're in the relationship with the narcissist, what would happen? You would make plans and the plans would change at the last minute, right? Remember those days? Of course you do. Why would they change? The reason they would change is because the narcissist found something more important to do and many times it wouldn't include you or many times it would include you but you would be triangulated or your plans would be blown up or you would be doing what they wanted. Again, you were being a puppet and they were the puppeteer. Think about your birthday or think about holidays or vacations. How many of those were blown up? Probably every one of them. Maybe you got a coffee mug on a big milestone birthday that said, happy birthday, and that was your birthday gift, which is a real life example, by the way. And then the narcissist had a milestone birthday and what, what you had a band and you had people come in from everywhere and celebrate the month long birthday. This is exactly how the narcissist pumps themselves up and you have to be a part of it. You have to be their number one cheerleader and they totally devalue you on your special day, your birthday. This is what goes on each and every day in these narcissistic relationships because the narcissist needs the spotlight on them. Why the narcissist won't let you go? It's because they want to watch you in pain. They want to watch you not succeed. They don't want you ever to break the trauma bond and they wanna keep you around. The narcissist collects individuals. They collect broken hearts. They collect relationships. They collect anything they possibly can get their grubby little fingers on because they can't do anything by themselves. They are not unique. They are not authentic. They are not genuine. They are parasites, they are vultures. They are people who take from other individuals, which includes their ideas, their thoughts, their businesses, their, their children, their lifestyle, their clothes, everything, their money. This is what the narcissist wants to do. They wanna take, take, and take. And it's not until you get the wisdom that you understand, wow, these people, i.e. the narcissist, they really can't change. And they sincerely can't. They only get worse over time. And why I share that is because each and every one of us are aging all the time. And some of us age gracefully and we accept the wrinkles, etc. And other people become the aging narcissist. That is what the narcissist is. They're an older individual acting like they're in their 20s or acting like even, maybe even they're in their teens. And that's what they want to hold on to. And that's what the narcissist has to live with. Their tiny little pea brain, all it does is stay stuck in the cycle. And they just want to insert new people who have no clue about what's going on in the real world about narcissism. And they want to keep these people trapped and captured, just like that grasshopper analogy I shared with you in the beginning of the video. The thing is, when you were a child, you let the grasshopper go. Why? Because you have a heart and because you want the grasshopper to hop away and be free. What does the narcissist want to do? They want to screw that lid on as tight as possible and have all of the oxygen and or the air not uh, circulate inside of that jar. And if you use that analogy with a human being, that's pretty much what they do. So I hope you guys understand the message. Why the narcissist won't let you go? It's because they are really enjoying your pain. They're enjoying where they placed you. And the, the narcissist likes supply, whether it's positive or negative. I am of the belief 100% that they like negative supply more than positive supply. Be and specifically, if you are an, an empath, if you're an empath, you're a kind, loving individual, and God bless you, you are a very amazing human being. And if you're not, it's fine. You're still an amazing human being, so no disrespect. But the point being is if you're an empath and they can actually take you and put you down in the low vibrational quagmire where the narcissist exists, in that pitch blackness below 10 feet under the earth, that's where they exist. If they can place you there and switch places with you and steal your beautiful, bright, shining light, which is exactly what they do when you're in these relationships, there's no better better source of supply than somebody like that because they're watching you 
take their place and they're taking your place and you can't figure out what just happened. Well, what just happened was the greatest illusion which ap or magic act of all time. The narcissist tricked you, trapped you, manipulated you and stole everything from you right in front of your eyes. And then one day when you were discarded, as an example, you finally figured out, oh my gosh, that's what that was. That was a narcissistic relationship and here you are. You're getting the wisdom. So guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from the beautiful Carolinas. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great afternoon, evening, or morning. No matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. God bless you. I love you. And I hope you understand the message. Why the narcissist won't let you go? You need to be strong enough to break the trauma bond. You need to heal. You need to close the chapter of the book on that person and move forward. And yes, I do know it's not that easy. And yes, I do know it takes a mountain of time. I'm just giving you tools and firsthand experience that in time, in your time, if you if you take action, you will really benefit yourself. And if you can't, utilize Gray Rock. Just become dull and boring. Guys, no matter where you are, I love you all. God bless you. And I will talk to you tomorrow. All right, bye, guys.